Hey everyone, Chris from Grand Panda Sims. I'm delighted to say that my F16 Wild Weasel campaign, first in Weasels over Syria, is getting closer. If you're watching this in late August 2023, then the process with ED is now complete and the campaign is just awaiting release. And before you ask, this is totally down to ED, so I cannot guarantee when this will be. If you're watching this in the future, then hopefully it's already out. I'm really, really proud of the finished product. It takes all the learnings of my previous campaigns and evolves my style of campaign into something that will be both familiar to veterans of my previous work, but adds a whole new layer of depth. I've already made several videos on FIWOS, but as some of them are quite long, I thought that it would be beneficial to bring all this information together into one shorter video, and so I've put together this deep dive. Reflected has also put out his own preview video, so if you haven't seen that yet and wanted to hear his thoughts on the campaign, I encourage you to check that out. FIWAS is set during the storyline of my Operation Cerberus North campaign, where the Joint Syrian Task Force has established no-fly zones over war-torn Syria. You play the role of Captain Dan Wilson, callsign Forrest, a wild weasel pilot with the 79th Fighter Squadron. The 79th has been deployed to Operation Cerberus North to support in enforcing these no-fly zones, as the Syrians have deployed considerable air defences in their vicinity. Grand Panda Sims veterans will know by now that all my campaigns have a connected storyline, but you will not need to have played any of my previous campaigns to enjoy FIWAS, as the story, scenarios and events will all be fully explained. But of course returning players will likely find easter eggs and references that I hope you will enjoy. The story and characters are developed through in-cockpit conversations as well as a breathing material, as with my previous campaigns, there is more in-flight chatter than you would get in real life, a necessary storytelling tool in my opinion, as well as a method for guiding players. But for those that don't like this, the longer, more expositional conversations are optional and can be ignored. As in all my campaigns, there is substantial documentation included. This time we have a 75-page intel guide which explains the scenario, the various factions in play, and provides detailed information on the threats you will face. There are also in-depth spins for your home base at H4 in Jordan, along with over 200 pages of briefings and kneeboards. Now what sets Thewas aside from my previous releases is something I call the Weasel System. The Weasel System is a custom-built system that controls the extensive air defence network built into the campaign. Early warning radars activate SAM sites as you enter the areas of responsibility, and all major military targets have short-range air defences deployed at them. These units are present in all missions and can be activated independently of the planned mission. But as they are only activated in the areas you are active in, I have avoided the performance impact high unit counts can cause. But this is only part of the Weasel system. The strength of this system is the enhanced AI control built into it. SAMs control their emissions, sometimes set traps for you, sometimes shutting down to avoid incoming harms, sometimes playing cat and mouse. A jamming effect is also present, so if supported by an electronic attack aircraft, the threat from certain SAM sites can be reduced. But get too close to a SAM and the radar burns through the jamming. Or if you lose your situational awareness and stray out of the area being jammed, then you may have just made yourself vulnerable to engagement. Some SAM systems also have vulnerabilities built in. These are described in the Intel Guide and allow you to learn viable tactics against certain SAM systems. All of these things are built into all the missions, which as you might imagine was a great deal of work to initially set up. But once it was, it gave me an incredible toolbox to use as I built the missions. The real beauty of the Weasel system is that it allows a more emergent type of campaign gameplay. Missions are still planned out for you, with clear objectives and a clear plan. But as the saying goes, no plan survives contact with the enemy. And how you approach the mission can cause unforeseen consequences or benefits. Strain to airspace you shouldn't, and you might get surprised by a previously silent SAM site. Lose your jamming protection and you can suddenly find yourself in a bad place maybe having to rapidly alter your attack plan. The Weasel system also allows me to easily apply randomization to missions. Different playthroughs may see different SAM sites active. Randomization can be applied to the length of time a SAM site shuts down for, or how long it stays active. The bottom line is this campaign is designed to be highly replayable, with the potential to experience different things on different playthroughs. And this is all in addition to what you will always find in my campaigns, an immersive approach to mission objectives so that the mission reacts accordingly if you kill the target, or fail to kill the target, or hit the wrong target, or if you need extra help from your wingman then this might have consequences later on, especially in a weasel mission, as you now has less harms left with which to help you. Fun fact I've never mentioned before, a key part of my inspiration for the design of this campaign was actually Skyrim and Dishonored. I have very fond memories from these games of unexpected emergent events happening based on what I was doing and the choices I made. 
So I hope I managed to bring just a little bit of that emergent chaos to this campaign, and I look forward to hearing your war stories of how you were surprised by the missions. As this is a Wild Weasel campaign, you will not be surprised to hear you will get shot at a lot. Their thought as a first for Fios, I've added an immortal option into the campaign. Perfect for players looking for the fun of the campaign, but concerned about dying an hour into a long mission and having to restart. This can be activated on the ground using the F10 menu at the start of the mission, but it will restrict your maximum mission score to 60 points. Again, adding replayability as you'll have to fly it without if you want to max your scores. The campaign has a custom air traffic control system with procedures for departures and arrival that tie into the mission score. The philosophy as always behind this is to always be engaging the player with meaningful activity, hopefully adding an extra layer of immersion and challenge. A common question you get is, will I need to air-to-air -air refuel? The answer is, no, you will not. But you can if you wish. All missions are planned and designed to be fully completable without air-to-air -air refueling and you are provided a fuel plan to support this. However, if events transpire to make you really burn through your fuel, most missions have a tanker available on the way home. This has been implemented in a way so as not to interfere with the scripted mission content, so if you refuel or not, the mission will continue with no issues. In addition to the enhanced AI control through the Weasel system, a lot of work has been put into the AI of your flight members. The AI has been rock solid for me in testing and I think it's in a really good place. Plus as always I include widespread fail safes built into AI tasks, so should anything go wrong chances are you won't even notice as the fail safes activate. I am confident the AI will not negatively affect your enjoyment of this campaign, and I hope it may even in fact surprise you at times as you execute certain weasel missions and tactics. FIWAS also contains something called Gauntlet Ops. This is a set of mini missions built into Mission 1 that take advantage of the full weasel system. There are currently 15 randomised objectives available and these are easily expandable and will be further updated over time and it takes literally 10 minutes to add an objective so I hope to do a lot of this in the coming months and years. Gauntlet Ops will override Mission 1 when activated and assign you a random objective in the heavily defended Damascus region. You can then buy support assets with a limited pool of points, set your loadout and then develop your own tactics to attempt to complete the mission while the full might of the Syrian IADS tries to stop you. Some of these targets can be really challenging and will hopefully provide a lot of additional fun to you virtual weasels. And that is it for First in Weasels Over Syria. A reminder that the first mission of all my campaigns, including Fios, are available through my Discord, so if you want to try out something new, please come and join us. Any further questions on the campaign, please leave a comment below or find me on Discord or the ED forums. Thank you for watching.